This is at 6.10 in the morning. Just when you thought the hard part is over. It came back, and then the house started shaking. It only continues. We were that power. And been with that power since 6.17 this morning. Three years now. South Dallas resident Bobby Douglas takes us to his home. Come on. Where he runs a barbecue business. 12 to 14 packs of ribs. More than $600 worth of food needing to go somewhere else since he's been without power over 12 hours. I keep everything here in these. As you can see, it's already trying to get sold. It's not just his home, but the entire neighborhood. Until they come cut all of this down. We're stuck in limbo. Yeah. This resident who doesn't want to be shown has been in her car all day to keep cool. But I don't see nobody out here working. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, where are they going to store it? A question many here have, as they say they're always last to get power restored. We pay too much money to the city of Dallas for us to be being neglected like this. Usually we can at least get a message from Encore. I'm on a list where I get an email message. Haven't gotten anything today. Encore says restoration could take days. They tell WFAA they understand the frustration and that every zip code matters. However, these residents say they don't feel that way. People that ain't got nowhere to take their stuff to, what they gonna do? In South Dallas, I'm Brittany Moncrease. I want to remind you here that uh, here at WFAA, we are proud to be partnering with Tom Thumb to try to help our neighbors who've been affected by severe weather here in North Texas. Starting today, you can visit any Tom Thumb or Albertsons and make a donation. You can also donate online by using the QR code there on your screen. A lot of people uh, were financially unprepared for the damage that they suffered uh, over the past couple of days here.